All right. Hi, everyone. This is Christine Thompson with Barrett and Warner on the CT team. I'm the lead agent there. And this is my weekly show that I do every Tuesday at 1215. I use Naperville as the, I'll say the guinea pig here, to compare week over week averages of what's happening in the market. So I'm going to skip right to it. I'm going to share the screen here with you. And we're going to talk about what's going on here. So, and get ready. I got a new slide for you. I'm so excited. So, okay. So the first, uh, I'm going to get the slideshow going here. All right. So first uh, um, uh, slide that I'm talking about here is just what's new on the market and what's gone under contract. I like to focus on those two. Uh, we do also have expired price change and properties that are closed. But uh, there are, in the last seven days, for attached and detached homes in Naperville, there were 112 new listings that hit. Now, we saw that six expired. Maybe some of those six are part of the 112, but that's not a lot. So we know these are pretty much uh, new, unique properties that hit the market. And then 114 went under contract. So that's fabulous. Um, that's showing we got buyers that are out there very busy. They're making offers on homes and the supply is uh, pretty low uh, considering we had more offers than homes that are were at least new on the market. That was a week ago. So let's take a look at uh, this last seven days. We had 123 go on the market and 105 go under contract. So the number of homes that went under contract, a little bit lower than what came new on the market. I think a lot of you owners are maybe listening to my show and realizing this is a great time to get on the market. So good for you that you're hopping on here. I hope uh, a lot of other ones are gonna come on now rather than um, waiting a couple months from now because it may be a lot different at that point. But right now we're seeing, you know, we're getting a little bit more supply going on than the demand, not by much though. I mean, this is still really strong. Average days on the market. This was last week that I presented that active homes were on the market for 82 days. And then um, homes that were uh, getting offers, 66 days on the market. So that means the homes are moving faster off the market. They're not sitting as long. So that's a very promising thing. That was two weeks out. So let's see what this week was. Actives, 29 days only. Wow, that's pretty good. Um, like my listings, I love it. So uh, 29 days only on the market, that is definitely a seller's market. And, but uh, homes under contract, 95 days. Wow, that's a really big disconnect there. So looks like this, uh, you know, homes are finally getting sold off. And uh, 29 days means not a lot of new homes coming onto the market, not enough, and they're falling off. So homes are getting sold off. So I would like to think that uh, owners are also doing the price changes. We, in fact, we can go back and take a look at it. 56 price changes. So that's probably why we have uh, this shrinkage on um, this week on just 29 days active and then 95 days. All those homes that did the price changes, maybe they were lingering there for a while and then they finally, you know, uh, wised up, got the price to the strike point, and then they got under contract. Okay, so that's what's going on there. This is, I didn't get an update on the showing report, so I apologize. I don't have numbers for that, but here's my new graph. Look at this. I'm so excited about it. It's called the Altos Report, and it's just the market action index, and it's showing base, this is basically a supply and demand here, and I pulled all of Naperville, so it's all the zip codes, 60540, 60565, 60563, and 60564. We've got four zip codes, people. It's crazy out there. And of course, a fifth zip code for the PO boxes. But uh, So this is the Altos report. It's showing the market action index. I pulled this up yesterday. Um, I can always send you a link. It shows it to you live. But what we're seeing here is it's just a slight seller's advantage, slight. So I know I'm showing you these other graphs and buyers are making offers, it's really good, but it's not an intense, crazy, crazy market for sellers based on this chart here, okay? And of course, remember, this is all of Naperville for all types of homes in Naperville. 
if you want me to break down a subset, like a certain zip code in Naperville, I can do that for you. I am talking to owners in all the four zip codes and I would say it's hovering between 30 and 35. I haven't seen it hit 40 yet. You go to Plainfield and we're like at 45, which is amazing. You would think Naperville would be the one way up here, but of course, uh, you know, more sellers are coming on the market now and, and wising up to that. So it's becoming a fair market. It's a slight seller's advantage. So buyers beware when you see that perfect home out there, you got to fight for it. Okay. And then the interest rates, uh, this was two weeks out uh, my, or my last show last week, I said the fixed year conventional was 3.25. And I like it to look at the FHA 3.21. And now we're at 3.14 for conventional and 2.97 for FHA. Holy smokes. Get out there, you guys. This is really fantastic. I know I had one of my lenders quoting under 3% actually for conventional. I mean, this is hovering too, but this is incredible. Wow. I wish I needed to buy a house. <laughs> this is really good. So anyways, the interest rates are really fantastic. Buyers, please pay attention. Get out there because now you can afford more home with these really low rates here. Okay, look at this. 2.97 for FHA and 3.14 for fixed conventional 30 year. Gosh, it's, it's wild. So happy news. That's really great. So you guys get out there and sellers, that's inspiring buyers to be purchasing your home. They could afford more so you can get that price you, you, know, you should be demanding, okay? I just like to make, I always like to close out with some a little bit bigger picture, uh, you know, piece of information for you. And this I got from the US Bureau of Labor and Statistics. It's the economy has gained 4.8 million jobs. And, in, and I believe this is in the last month or so. Um, I'll have to pull up that, that specifics, but this is a very recent graph that they just gave out. And uh, before when we were having all the unemployment, uh, the sector that was hurting the most was leisure and hospitality. And look at it, spiked up on, on jobs. So it's coming back. And I don't know if you remember from my show last week, I showed the V curve, how we had a 44% increase on home sale, home contracts. This is another part of this V curve where the economists were saying, we're gonna have a V curve return following this whole COVID situation. And here it is right here, V curve, because this was the biggest portion that really dropped on, on, on uh, employment. And now look at them come back. So thank you to all you Americans that are uh, feeling comfortable enough to go out and give business uh, to the businesses, small local businesses, they really need your support. Um, I'm out there, I'm seeing that they're being very careful wearing the masks and everything, you know, get out there. And if, if you feel like you need to wear a mask, absolutely do it and just get out there, you know, go buy a meal, um, go to the stores, pick up stuff, you know, just to help support the local businesses so we can keep this economy growing back to where it should be. I mean, we were doing great before COVID. Let's get back there as quickly as we can, you know, put aside the fear Get yourself educated on everything that's happening out there. Cross-reference, you know, don't, don't look at just one statistic. Look at it from many different sources. I think that's going to start making you feel more comfortable to get out there, do things, and not worry um, about, you know, what's going to happen. Because we got to support the economy. We can't just shut the world down. But obviously, we want to do it safely. You know, fully support that. You know, I've got family. I got an old. My mother's older. She lives in Arizona, and I can't even go visit her because it's a hot spot state, and she's living all alone. So it's tough, and I understand it. You know, we're all living it. But uh, let's unite together and really support each other and get out there. Okay. So uh, if you have any questions, uh, you know, want to get a little more of this type of information, or if you. Um, want to uh, get more specific market information for specific areas that maybe you live in or you have a friend or a family that's thinking of selling and they want to know what the heck is happening with the market, please reach out to me. I'm here to be your agent for all the resources that you need. 
I don't care if you need to buy or sell, just call me, okay? I wanna make sure you're getting correct information. So everyone, thanks for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Please share and like this, give hearts, and watch it on YouTube. If you didn't, you know, if you wanna tell people about it, they can catch it on YouTube. Just search Christine Thompson Real Estate, and you'll see a th thumbnail of me opening big blue pocket doors, and it'll say weekly update on the thumbnail. That's this show that you can catch later, okay? So again, thanks for watching. Thanks for caring about staying informed and for trying to pass along the information so you can get more and more people informed of what's happening out there. Have a great day. You can catch me next week, again, Tuesday, 12, 15 p.m. And this is my information that you can contact me. I got my email. Uh, let's see, over there, I got my email address, my website, christinemoveshomes.com. You can even do christinethompson.bairdwarner.com. That's probably even better. It's just more to type out. Um, and that'll get you directly to me. And I can, you can DM me, uh, text me, and all that good stuff, email me. Of course, the information's here too. And, and you, naturally, you can call me live right on the phone too. I am available. That is my cell phone. I post right there. I'm open book and always available to everyone that uh, needs a realtor and some resources, okay? You guys have a fantastic day. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you like my new little Altos graph. I'm so excited to put that in there and I will have that again next week so we can compare week over week. Take care you guys and you guys stay safe out there. Bye-bye.